going on? How y'all doing out there? What's happening? So, special request from one of my favorite subscribers, one of the people that always be asking some cool questions, and I always welcome questions, and I'll make a video if you make a request. Shout out to Ted Cox, right on. Ask me my thoughts, and I was actually plotting on doing this video, but I put it on a back burner because other things came up, but it was about Tyreek Hill. And uh, Tyreek Hill came up recently and gave us five greatest wide receivers. And he didn't have Jerry Rice. Now, I always let it be known. I'm very pro-black. And I stand up on that. However, I'm also critical of black folk, too. I'm very critical of athletes and entertainers who are black because they don't acknowledge who paved the way. I remember back in the day, the issue with Frank Thomas because he downplayed Jackie Robinson. Now, he's here doing uh, men pills right now, but Flutie, but he tried to downplay Jackie Robinson back in the 90s, and some Pats I know had exception with that. I have an issue with Tyreek Hill because, yeah, he's a bar burner, but if you pet, put, post your lips to say Megatron is a top, you know, a receiver, and you don't have Jerry Rice on your list, that's like saying that Michael Jordan ain't your top five. That's like saying Barry Bonds. You know, when the eyeball is there, you can see. It's like not saying Ali. It's like saying the greats are the greats. I can't take you seriously. Because Jerry Rice changed the course of the game. The rack is because of Jerry Rice. And Tyreek Hill has done plenty of racking. Because if you remember the game against Baltimore, he'll take a hitch play and go 60, 70 yards. Who made that happen? Who was the cat that really bust that bubble? That was Jerry Rice. Yeah, Jerry Rice was blessed enough to play with the greatness of Bill Walsh, arguably the greatest coach ever. Joe Montana, arguably the greatest quarterback ever. Depends on who you ask. But Jerry Rice comes out of Mississippi Valley State, comes along and changes the trajectory of the 49ers, becomes, scored the most touchdown, most receiving yards. Look up the stats. Three rings. Sometimes all rings aren't created the same. Michael Irvin got three rings too, but you don't hear people except for Skip Bayless putting Michael Irvin ahead of Jerry Rice. Jerry Rice finally changed the culture. He was that deep. He was a standard. Okay. And look, Tyreek Hill, I, I know he had Terrell Owens and Randy Moss. Randy Moss is the most ballet, ballet, ballet type of receiver I've ever seen. No one's toe game was better. Incredible toe usage, but he didn't have the mindset Jerry Rice did. Had he had the mindset of Jerry Rice, he might be considered the greatest athlete, period, because his, his his step and his tone was on another level. T.O., Terrell Owen, strong, powerful dude, could run, had it, didn't have the same mindset as Jerry Rice. Great talent. See, and I, when you're going to post it and you're going to acknowledge people, you, you got to put Jerry Rice in there. It, that's just, you, your list ain't serious. And I have a problem with younger generation when they don't acknowledge the greats of the past, when they don't take the time. Because I see this often. And I saw Kenyon Martin and Gilbert Reneston were clowning Dr. Julius J. Irvin by his top 10 players, and it was cracking joke. Y'all don't do that to that man. That man paved the way for y'all. And you know your history. You know how if you took the ABA era and the NBA era, Dr. J's, that's almost top 10. So I think you would think again before you don't know. And if you don't know, you better ask somebody. Wikipedia, find out. Same thing with Jerry Rice. You can't take Tyreek Hill seriously because you, there's no way in the world you don't have Jerry Rice. <laughs> if you don't have, you can have him top two to three, but if you don't have him in your top five at all, you're not believable. Because as great as Joe Montana is, and I have much respect for Joe Montana, he took Montana to another level. And you know what he did for Steve Young. Okay. So, I don't know. I'm not taking him serious with that. I don't take none of them serious if they don't acknowledge greatness. I'm talking about the past. You know. Stop acting like everything you saw in the last 15, 20 years is the greatest thing since sliced bread because there was a past before that. And they got plenty of film and highlights. And like I said, Jerry Rice, there is no question about it. That dude ain't going to be below them guys because he's more accomplished than all those cats I must put together. The touchdowns, the dominance, 
created a whole category, created a whole way that you have to acknowledge him. One of the few guys who got the best of Deion Sanders, too. That's a fact. But Jerry Rice got away on a lot of people. Was a, oh, he was a cold-blooded player. And Tyreek Hill, who I like, you know, came up big for the Chiefs, can't see in the Super Bowl against the 49ers. Mahomes hit that big third and 15 play. And he's, he's going to put some numbers up. But... He ain't going to ever be mentioned in that light. And Megatron, who was, was great for his time, ain't no Jerry Rice. They ain't no Jerry Rice. Jerry Rice is one of them one ones Please hit like, subscribe, welcome thoughts, comments. And I do respond. Thank you. Wash your hands. Keep in mind. Clear. Watch out for another. Share it if you like. Appreciate that. And again, shout out to anybody who wants uh, me to do, uh, talk about a video or subject matter. Put it down below. I'll get to it. I'm out. Peace.